Fox, your answer there. Very good. Okay. So let's go to our next problem here. It is 1 plus 1 half divided by 1 half cubed. Okay, Charlie. What do we got to do first? What does our order of operations say? Exponent. We got to take care of that exponent first. So, Charlie, what does 1 half cubed mean? 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. There it is. And now, okay, what does 1 half times 1 half times 1 half equal, Charlie? 1 eighth. That's right, 1 eighth. Okay, so now we have 1 plus 1 half divided by 1 eighth. Okay, Charlie, what do we do? We have an addition, right, and a division. Which has to be done first? The division. The division. So we've got to handle the 1 half divided by the 1 eighth. So we're going to change that division to a what, Charlie? Multiplication. Multiplication and take the reciprocal of 1 over 8. So there it is. We'll go ahead and write that. Now, we're ready to multiply now. Remember, we have an addition and multiplication now. We've got to do the multiplication first. So what's 1 half times 8 over 1? 8 over 2. 8 over 2. Very good. So 1 plus 8 over 2 gives us 1, one plus four. what, Charlie? Four. Four, that's right. And so what is our answer, Charlie? Five. That's right. Five. Very good. Okay. Moving on to our next problem. Two, subtract one six divided by now negative one over twenty-four. Now, Charlie, what do we do first? The subtraction or the division? The division. The division. But we're dividing with the fraction, so we're going to change that to multiplication, Charlie. Okay, Charlie, so we change it to multiplication, so what do we have to do? Reciprocal. Take the reciprocal there, okay? So go ahead and list that out. There it is, okay? Now, we have to do that multiplication there. And so we'll go ahead and I'll list that little bracket over there telling you there is what we have to do, okay? We have to subtract the product of 1 6 times a negative 24 over 1. So we're going to do that product there. Now, Charlie. What is 1 sixth times a negative 24 over 1? Okay? We could reduce six. first, but let's just do the multiplication. Remember, just multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. What do you get, Charlie? Negative 24 over 6. Negative 24 over 6. Very good. Now, we're going to go ahead and reduce. What is 24 divided by 6, Charlie? 4. It is a 4, but because we have that negative there, it's a negative 4. So. There it is right there. Now here it comes, Charlie. Subtracting a negative 4. 2 subtract a negative 4 is the same as 2 plus 4. Plus 4. Very good. And so 2 plus 4 is 6. Don't forget to box your answer there. There you go. Let's go to the next page. Okay. Here we go. 4 fifths squared plus 4 over 25, the whole quantity is squared. Okay, in those brackets, we have to follow the order of operations. We've got that exponent up there. Okay, Charlie, what's 4 fifths squared mean? 4 fifths is 4 fifths. 4 fifths times 4 fifths, so there it is there. Okay. Now, Charlie, we have to do the multiplication first in the bracket. So we have 4 fifths times 4 fifths. Remember, straight across the top, and straight across the bottom. So what do we get for that right there? 16 over 25. 16 over 25. Very good. So we'll go ahead and bring that down. There it is. 16 over 25 plus 4 over 25. And now that whole quantity is squared. We still got to simplify what's in that bracket. Okay, Charlie? And so what's 16 apples plus 4 more apples? 20 apples. 20 apples. Very good. So what is 16 25ths plus 4 25ths? 20 20 fifths. 20 20 fifths. Very good. And don't forget that quantity there is squared. So, now, notice Charlie here, we have 20 20 fifths squared. Okay, we know what that means, 20 over 20 fifths times 20 over 20 fifths, but we always want to reduce when we can. Okay, and so, how does 20 over 25 reduce, Charlie? 4 fifths. 4 fifths, because you're dividing both top and bottom by a 5. So 20 divided by 5 is a 4, and 25 divided by 5 is the 5. And don't forget that squared there. So 
Okay, so four fifths squared. Now, what does four fifths squared mean, Charlie? Four fifths times four, four fifths times four fifths. And remember, multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. What do we get? 16 over 25. 16 over 25, and don't forget to circle your answer. There we go. So that completes that problem there. We are having so much fun. Let's go to our next problem. There it is right there. Okay, 3 half squared minus 25 over 8. That quantity is squared, and we're subtracting 1 16. Okay. Now we'll start with this, Charlie. What does 3 half squared mean, Charlie? 3 halves times 3 halves. 3 halves times 3 halves. So let's go ahead and list that up there. Very good. Okay, now, 3 halves times 3 halves. Okay, Charlie, what is 3 halves times 3 halves? 9 fourths. 9 fourths. Very good. So we'll go ahead and write that down. Okay, 9 fourths minus 25 over 8. Now, remember, we got to work out that bracket there, but we have 9 fourths minus 25 over 8 which we cannot combine. Remember, whenever you're adding or subtracting fractions, the denominators must be the same. So in this case, we have to find the lowest common denominator so that we can make our fractions have the same denominator. So remember, my definition for pre-algebra, the one that we used was the lowest common denominator is the smallest number in which your denominators divide evenly into. Meaning, here we have a denominator of 8 and a denominator of 4. Now, Charlie, both 8 and 4 divide evenly into what number? What's the smallest number they divide evenly into? 8. And 8. And that is the lowest common denominator. So, the 25 over 8, we can go ahead and leave alone, but we've got to change that 9 fourths to a denominator of 8. And, Charlie, how do we change a 9 fourths to have a denominator of 8? Top and bottom by 2. Okay. Multiply it, the denominator by 2. But remember, whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So there's that step there. Now, 9 fourths times 2 over 2 is what, Charlie? 18 8. 18 over 8. So there we go. 18 over 8 subtract 25 over 8. We're still trying to simplify that bracket. Now, we have to do 18 over 8 subtract 25 over 8. So first, let's do... Now, I'm, I'm sorry. The denominators are now the same, so they are like terms. So now, we're going to think about what is 18 subtract 25? Okay. What some people like to do is they know it's a they notice it is a negative number, so they think, okay, 25 subtract 18 is 7. Okay, if 25 subtract 18 is 7, then 18 subtract 25 is a negative 7. Okay? That's like a kung fu math move. So anyway, Charlie, so what is 18 over 8 subtract 25 over 8? Negative 7 over 8. Negative 7 8 squared. Okay. So there's our answer up there. Subtract 1 16th. And now, Charlie, what does negative 7 8 quantity squared mean? Negative 7 8 times negative 7 8 times negative 7 8. Okay, so there it is there. And now we'll go negative 7 8 times negative 7 8. Charlie, what's that answer? Remember, straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So what is it, Charlie? Negative 7 8 times negative 7 8 is 49 over 64. 49 over 64. There we go. Now, Notice here, what I did here was I'm helping you out because we have 49 over 64 minus 1 over 16th. Now, Charlie, notice that 4 over 4 there. Where did that come from? 4 denominator. Okay, four again, let me translate for Charlie there. What I'm doing here is I know the denominators are not the same, so I've got to find the lowest common denominator. This was a tricky one. Our denominators were 64 and 16, yep. and the smallest number that those divide evenly into is a 64. Yeah. Okay. But the 64 is already there on the first fraction. The second fraction, 16 times 4, is 64. So remember, whenever you do the bottom, you must do the top. So I'm multiplying the 1 16th by 4 over 4 to give me the fraction with the denominator, the 1 16th. So Charlie. What is 1 16th times 4 over 4? 4 over 64. 4 over 64. Very nice, Charlie. And so now you see my denominators are the same. So now it's a matter of just doing basic arithmetic. 49 subtract 4 is what, Charlie? 45. 45. So 49 64s take away 4 64s gives you how many 64s, Charlie? 
Forty 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 five. That's right. Don't forget to circle your answer. Very nice. We got a few more problems to go.